Hello people, how are you? So I am having a great day at my home office and I thought before my next meeting I should talk with you for a few minutes. After I released my this video then I thought I should give some more extended thought related to this video. So what are my thoughts? Any private job not only VLSI it would be tough and tough in the sense that every day you need to prove yourself and any private job will become more tougher when you have two choice like a PSU job, a government job and a private job and you are rejecting that PSU job and taking that private job that time any day when you will be having a tough day at that time you will feel it more tougher because at that time you will compare both the job and you will feel like hey i had an option to go to psu but i have just rejected it and now i am here and it is not good and this is not your fault this is the human psychology because anytime we get this thing we feel that thing is better and if we get that thing then we think this thing is better for example i have a road beside this and there are many school students are going on and I am sitting here doing my work, having an some payment and then I am feeling like oh god school days were great. But when I was in school or college I thought whenever I will get a job my life will kick off. So this is the fact. So what is the best way? Best way is that if you have two choice PSU and government sorry uh, PSU and your private MNC job at that time choose anyone. Choose only that one which from inside you have the calling. Not like I am influencing you like in my last video I have influenced you to reject PSU job and take the VLSI job. But don't hear me or any other people in during these two like uh, choosing between these two things. Because these two are very good choice and if you are choosing VLSI then the calling should come from your inside. If you have PSU select PSU, so us time mein aapko kya karna hai? You will continue your job there in PSU for 1-2 years and at that time you will keep in touch with the industry also. Like in industry you know I need to do this much project, I need to keep clearing my concepts. So that agar 2 years or X years you feel like no PSU is not my kind of job. At that time switching your job won't be very much difficult and you need to do the same thing for VLSI job also. If you choose VLSI, rejecting your PSU offer, at that time you will continue your job, industry job like I am doing but at the same time you will keep preparing for gate or you will keep revising your gate syllabus because maximum of the PSU jobs are got selected from gate syllabus only, all the exam. And the best thing is that Joby PSU may they select you through gate and for gate we have three year validity. So that means if you have a very great gate score and you have joined a VLSI company then you have three buffer year to decide on like is VLSI is a type of my company or I need to switch my job. Like I have one of my friend who did uh, his MTech from ID Delhi only so he got placed in a very attractive and lucrative salary to Qualcomm but after five or six months he just left their job and now he is with the airport authority of India. Salary is less there but he thought that is his type of job. So how you will decide which is your type of job? For that the first ingredient is that you need to give yourself time. Like I am not favoring that friend because that friend has only been in the industry for six or seven months i'll tell you please give yourself time for one or two year after one or two year examine your every month and in every month if there are few days you feel excited to go to office for example today morning i logged in at 7 30 am why because i was very much excited to write or finish up my yesterday's work because i was i am writing a script to automate some layout design and it is very interesting for me. So if you find similar kind of day in your job in a month for two, three or five days, that is enough because maximum of day the things will be monotonous in both the job in VLSI also in PSU also. But still after that if you find two, three days which excite you to go to your job and hey mind it if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend in your office you will feel excited to go there every day. So this is the exceptional case. Don't mix it up with this thing. 
I, I hope you got it. So if you find out those two, three or five days, then that is a job of your type. And don't consider other things like which is giving me more salary, which is the work life balance or blah, blah, blah. These are additional things uh, you don't need to care, but that's my mantra actually. And I acknowledge that still now in VLSI industry, I'm in seven month or eight month and I don't know if it is my type of job or not, but yeah, I'm finding few days when I feel excited and I will update you after two, I complete my two year. So first of one is give yourself time and second is see this thing if you are getting those two, three, four, five days in a month. And one thing you need to remember that life is not so much unfair also. For example, when I spend a very tough day at my office, which means I have accomplished something, then the level of satisfaction I have, which is not comparable to anything, not of your high salary or anything. And if you are in MNC in a private job, then those accomplishment would be larger than in PSU. Yes, I have all the respect for PSU job, but if you compare, then the day when you do nothing would be more in PSU job than in a VLSI job. So decision is your. I am not influencing you, okay? So this video is just a, a casual talking with you. I'll see you in this weekend's video. Till then, take care, keep learning. And if you like my content, you can press like button also.